Hey guys, and welcome to, well I was going to say yet another speed build, but this is a speed interior. Welcome back uh, to the channel. I'm back again with the second part of the huge, what's this called? Royal Palms Mansion uh, speed build. If you haven't watched um, part one, part one was all the exterior, which I think is actually my favourite. I love the interior don't get me wrong it's beautiful so please continue to watch this but the exterior is my favorite it, yeah so um the link will be in the description for part one or there'll be like a card or something right now in the top right hand corner go ahead and watch that first and then come back and meet me here um so yeah this part is going to be the interior um as you can see we've already started on um this kind of atrium kind of hall thing i would have loved to been able to put a glass roof in this area actually um this floor plan was uh based on the real villa floor plan um and i'm glad i did copy this this one element it had like a round um area that all of the um corridors went off and i just thought it was such a great feature and then i um also made sure to cut out from above so on the on the first floor you'll actually be able to look down into this area which has this these settees these seats they are stunning by felix of course again because you know had to and um believe it or not this interior was kind of waiting for these settees <laughs> when i knew that he was making these and releasing them i was like okay um i did actually have the get together like concrete um outdoor kind of window box seat thing there and i was like oh these are gonna be so much nicer um yeah so i swapped them out the house was sitting for quite a long time with just this center bit done and the get together seating so if you don't have oh, i was gonna say if you don't have felix's cc you could replace it with that but if you don't have felix's cc um you're gonna have a lot more than just those settees missing because yeah the whole house is is covered in his cc um if you don't have felix's cc already um again there will be a link to the tumblr post in the description and that has uh, the link to his details but it's patreon.com forward slash felixander yeah that's the one um and basically for 20 dollars, you can get his entire back catalog of items which i think at this present day is like at about 400 items so 20 dollars for 400 items to be honest is a steal um i have played a lot more over the year and a bit that i've been supporting on my patreon but um it's in my opinion well worth it um because also i see the amount of hours that go into creating um cc as and still do you know what it still hasn't put me off the idea of creating my own but um if you don't know felix is a very good friend and i am there for the hours every evening on discord while he works on cc and it is basically like having another full-time job um on top of his regular day-to-day -day work so i just i think he <laughs> truly deserves every penny he gets for doing all of this amazing cc so that's why i just wanted to show it and tell you all about it but anyway we're um doing this house we're onto this like sunroom area i have cut a bit out to say that i was indecisive at this point in the build would be a slight understatement um in case you don't know there was a huge gap between when i did the exterior and this interior i basically did the exterior did the floor plan and then this house sat untouched for a couple of months um and in those couple of months i've basically done two um the heritage collection like number one and number two so like two months have passed I had done zero building, had not built a single thing in the time. And um, basically when I came to do this interior, I was like, yeah, I, I really did not think I knew how to decorate anymore or build. Um, this room that you're seeing now was the biggest struggle ever. 
Um, it doesn't say this blue. I looked at it. I did the whole entire room. Why is my thing paused for so long? I don't know. And apologies for this extra long pause. Maybe I just cut out the wrong bit of footage because we're just still here hanging out. Oh, and now we're good. Um, so yeah, I just, I didn't know how to in do interiors again. And I looked from above and there was just something about this room that just doesn't, didn't sit with me. Um, in compared to the rest of the rooms. Um, there was a lot of marble I used like in all of the hallways and the corridors and the entrance and in that sun room. And then I did a music room next, which is actually just to the left of uh, this dining room. There's a music room which is all green marble. Um, and I just, all of those went so well together and then I came to this room and I was like, Ugh. It just didn't sit well with me and I was super duper duper frustrated. Um, I chopped and changed my ideas so many times <laughs> um, in this room that yeah there is a lot, trust me, a lot cut out and still this video is like what like 26 minutes still just for the interior and I've cut out quite a bit. Um, I can only imagine how you couldn't have sat through <laughs> this house if I did, you know, both parts together. So you're welcome. Um, but anyway, yeah, that living room does change into green. It looks so much better. It's just matches with the rest of the house. Oh, you just got a flash of the um, music room. So there is a room just with a grand piano in it because, you know, we bougie and all that. Um, and what else would you put in a match? Oh, we've already changed the green. You can see the green living room there so much better i think it's just fresher which it's it's strange i don't normally ever shy away from blue blue's normally like the comfortable color and but the green just worked so much nicer it was just yeah it was just fresher um so here we are we've moved on to i've kept this footage in this this i think is probably one of my favorite rooms uh by this point i had this was like day two i think i'd started one evening and I did that living room and I was just like, yep, I'm going to bed. I've had enough. I came back the next day and I fixed the problem and changed it to green. And so this is me continuing the next day when I'm like, mm-hmm, I, th I think I've got my groove back now. Let's kind of get to it. And so this is the result of the next day. And I absolutely love this study. Um, I think I've said it maybe in probably every single one of my last builds but I have an obsession with attempting all black interiors I know it probably looks really str it doesn't look so great in the sims sims um has replicates colors really well but black and white it kind of struggles white can look a bit flat in the game um yeah you know like you have these really bright white interiors in real life and they look gorgeous and then when i see them in the zims they just they just, they just fall a bit flat unless you have i don't know a re a great reset re shade preset um yeah you're not you're not gonna have a nice beautiful white and we can't all play the game with reshade on all the time i do with my light brigade that's what i've recorded um this speed build with um, but that I made for gameplay I made sure it didn't drop my frame rate too dramatically so that's why I say it's for gameplay um, but the uh, reshape preset that I use for all of the screenshots and for the fly through that I did on the first part and at the beginning that um, I have a top of the range <laughs> like about as high a spec as you can go for you know just for a sims pc and um when i put that preset on oh boy does my computer know it's doing some work uh normally i actually do builds and i have something going on on my second screen either i'm on discord um screen sharing so sharing my screen with friends or i could be watching a live stream on twitch or just watching some American trashy TV, it's fine, um, on the second screen. And when I use reshade, it just goes, Nyeh! I was using the reshade and I had um, 
Twitch open and suddenly my Twitch just like went to like individual frames and I was like what's up with the frames like what wh what's happened to the frame rate you know oh god I'm gonna have to refresh this stream is so bad like their frame rates dropped no 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 it was reshade just affecting everything so normally I can like my graphics card is good enough to watch a live stream or do anything I want on the second screen and build and run the game and record all of the above but with reshade with all of those filters on yeah it's it's, it's pretty tough so be, beware I get a lot of people on my reshade things saying like oh I can't I can't do gameplay with this yeah that most of the presets are only meant to be for screenshots so just be aware of that I, I have a blank um, reshade preset that I've saved it, it's called no shade <laughs> um, yeah that's what I saved it as in my in my reshade just to remind myself of what the regular lighting looks like for some reason I don't, don't know why I would ever need to do that but yeah <laughs> um, so we're here in the kitchen I've totally rambled over the first half of it but I wanted to do it here in two halves this building I kind of did the exterior thought we're good then I moved into the interior and I was like hmm rooms aren't as ginormous as I thought they would be so if there's a mansion where you kind of want to use it for gameplay and you're worried about it being too big this is definitely a, a well sized and proportioned mansion if you want to call it a mansion um, your sims are not gonna get lost you should be able to e easily navigate this for gameplay you know it's only on two levels and um, it's just one giant long house it's perfect for gameplay um, but yeah this is the kitchen it's kind of like the informal dining table even though it's exactly the same furniture <laughs> as the formal one that's in the living room um, I didn't do a separate dining area because that, that's the floor plan would have been really weird if I did that um, but yeah you do have two different tables and we have this kind of I would call this like the kitchen room because you know you have the microwave there and a few like pastry things and all that kind of jazz and every single room of course has a ginormous chandelier or something in it um, I do go around to put the candles in all of those um, chandeliers so don't worry it's just that um, for some reason when you put wallpaper on the candles disappear so <laughs> if you had that I just always leave it till the last minute uh, but anyway we finished the kitchen and we've moved to the um top you're just that sneaky little plant sun room thing attached to the dining room and there's another like seating area these are built inside the towers um and then this one the jacuzzi hot tub thing fitted perfectly of course we are we have a chandelier above said hot tub and i can only oh, i wish i'd put a sim in here for screenshots actually that would have been pretty epic um, but this wallpaper in here I am in love with <laughs> in this room and I just that tropical wallpaper plus the tiles on the floor it, everything and as you can see I made sure that the palm trees are not sticking through the wall uh, but yeah this is like a little spa area of course um, you can call over a masseuse anytime you want in the sims for no charge which i find really weird um you only get charged per i think per um session or whatever treatment you have uh but in here there's this one so you can get a foot massage or a hand massage i think in those and then you can also there's a regular like massage table and you can get that this is kind of almost this end of the um, house is almost like the guest wing so it's all the way at the furthest point away from the master bedroom you have the spa on one area of course your little kind of waiting room almost or sitting area so this is the same as the was downstairs and then you have um, also the guest bedroom that joins into this area so yeah you can kind of have guests over and just send them to the end I wish you could kind of just invite people over and have them stay for extended periods of time but um, even if you have a boyfriend come over in the sims or 
girlfriend. It's like they just go straight away and you can't even have like friends over. It would be great if you could invite family, friends over just to stay for a little while and you know just some people kind of move I haven't really haven't done this I I don't know moving someone in seems so final to me in the sims and um yeah I've never really just moved someone in for as like a storyline I don't think I really play that much with a storyline sometimes but I don't quite go as far as moving someone in and already knowing that the storyline is going to move them back out again if you get what I mean but yeah um so yeah we're putting in the chandelier because you know and again fixing the palm trees <laughs> I think I may have put like um a few extra palm trees on the inside to maybe hide a palm tree or two coming through but yeah this is the um massage tables and lots of plants in here I just wanted it to feel lush and um, I think I put a divider in here from city living and candles 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 and more candles um if this is one of the first videos of mine you're watching um you'll soon get to know that i have a slight obsessions in my builds slight obsessions slight obsession in my builds for candles um i just feel like every home needs candles and believe it or not in real life I only have one candle, which I occasionally light. Um, probably because I don't want to burn the house down. And in The Sims, I put a lot of candles, which would definitely be a fire hazard. And yeah, in real life, that will probably just burn the whole place down. <laughs> um, now we have moved on to the guest bedroom. Believe it or not, this I actually like this bedroom more than the last one. I don't know. I, I think it's because... <coughs> excuse me I think it's because the bed is slightly more um, over the top theatrical and I feel like it goes really well um, with the wallpapers and I just I just like the whole mix and blend that I did in here um, I think the master bedroom is maybe a little bit more modern and I think I like this one slightly better for matching in with the rest of the house and the whole vibe and everything uh, but yeah this guest bedroom has all the you know basic four poster bed needs and um, this Rococo um, kind of vanity table which is beautiful it's um, it is just a table and mirror but you know you can put your sims uh, makeup there's uh, what was that there is that light that is um, a perfume bottle yeah I did use it well well done didn't give myself credit then um, but yeah there is a guest uh, bathroom attached to this ensuite which is for those doors I love the way um, that the doors are open so I've combined both closed doors and open doors um, there are arches as well that match in with those Jordan doors um, but I like using them on the like the spa room had the doors open I just I, I don't know, it just makes the place seem like it's more lived in and um, I really like that whole look of it being lived in and yeah, I just, and it, it, sometimes those extra little details are what um, complete house and that's kind of, I don't know, maybe it was a little bit missing sometimes from EA objects because they have to make sure everything is done perfectly and they can't um you know i don't think the sims team could make a door that looks like that it's kind of they don't have the creative freedom um but cc creative do so that's that's why i feel like we need cc creators um you know because they have creative freedom there's lots of things i'm sure that the sims team want to put in the game and that they can't because you know it just doesn't fit into a wider pack of items um, and that's why I love using CC because I know that the Sims team can't give us everything we would ever want um, so and I don't like to restrict myself come on don't make me do it <laughs> but anyway we're on to the master bedroom and um, here we're using the new French bed that came or better French that's it it's the new better French 
um, that came with um, Felix's latest month. I think it was last month's rewards. And um, the bed is gorgeous. In real life, I would want that bed. Um, and the bedding matches, the bedding is like identical to, we've used basically the same color combinations. I did my heritage part two first, I think. And then Felix has used the same swatches and color combinations as myself for his items. And then added on a few that needed to be added on that I didn't have in my palette. Um, so yeah, everything should match beautifully there. The base game items that I recolored are a little bit darker um, than I wanted them to be. But um, I think when The Sims were doing, um, you know, <laughs> their first, um, like the base game, they didn't have as great a perfect technique as they um, do now. So the textures are a little bit iffy to say the least uh, so I had to make some of the textures quite a bit like the base level of the textures quite a bit darker to overlay the color um, well that's also compared to the first set which is cat which was recoloring cats and dogs by then they kind of had their whole technique going so I didn't need to make the base layer darker you actually have no idea what I'm talking about but yeah <laughs> just trust me base game textures mm -hmm. trust me they have most definitely improved as they got along okay just take it from me as someone that has inspected all of the items very closely uh, but anyway we're moving on to the built in wardrobe -y thing yes this is the dress oh sorry this is the dressing room um where of course one can't possibly get dressed in uh, their bedroom they have to go into a separate room and I loved the kitchen those I think are the vamp there's no they're base game cabinets and they look so good at the built-in wardrobe um, of course you can then use the dresses that are in the middle of the room to actually dress your sims and the mirrors there of course are all fully functional but I thought it looked really cute if, if I had to live in this mansion, I would most definitely have this kind of dressing room and those would all be filled with clothes and shoes and most definitely handbags. One day, <laughs> one day I'll have this dressing room. No, I won't, um, but <laughs> you know, we, we, can, we can still wish, but um, I'm going around clustering. I don't think I, do I leave these on the wall? I'm not too sure. Um, but we are doing this room and I think we've only got the master bathroom left. I did cut out um, downstairs. What I didn't show is the music room, which is all green marble. It's actually really, really nice room, but I thought there wasn't much to it. So I cut that one out. Um, there is a quite a lot of bathrooms on the upstairs that I cut out. There's like a... Um, I think I did another I had a green bathroom, a kind of peachy bathroom, and then I did the white wooden panelled bathroom that goes with the guest bedroom. There is another bedroom as well in this place that is all pink with kind of teal accents. And of course I cut that out because this video is already long enough as it is. Uh, but here we've moved on to the master bathroom. Surprisingly, for some reason. I'm not sure why, but I divided up the room and I put a double shower there. Well, what's supposed to look like a double shower without having the CC for it? Um, so yeah, you might want to swap that out for a bath. I don't know why I didn't really do a bath and a shower. For some reason at this point I was like, oh no, every single bathroom in this place has a bath. And personally, I hate the fact that Sims take like five times longer to have a bath than they do to have a shower. Or it could just all be in my head. I should really time it to see if it really is quicker to have a shower in The Sims than it is to have a bath. Because I just feel like I'm waiting forever for my Sims to have a bath. And I'm just like, hurry up. So, yeah, that that's, that's why um, <laughs> I put showers in here. I was like, I have to give you the option at least to have this shower. 
and then you can kind of go to another place to have a bath. There's every single other bathroom. I think there's four other bathrooms have a bath in it. It's just this one that I just, I just chucked a shower and it's fine. Um, and we're doing like final touches. Oh, this was good. I love these floor decals that came um, with Get Famous. I would love to create some more of those because they just finish a room. I don't think this place would look anywhere near as nice and opulent and ornate without the decals on the floor. So thumbs up for those from Get Famous. Um, we are coming to the end of the video. Links are in the description. Feel free to leave any comments, questions and all that jazz. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.